Hello everyone, I am Biju. Hope you are all fit and fine. Welcome you all to Stella. Today, I am so excited to share some mathematic tricks to you all. If you like my video, just give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Now, let's move on to the topic. Today, I will be teaching you all the divisibility tricks from 1 to 10. Division is one among the basic operations of arithmetic. The other operations are addition, subtraction, and multiplication. We all know the divisibility by 1. Every number will be divisible by 1. Moving forward, test of divisibility by 2. If the number is even, or if the number ends with 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0, then the number will be divisible by 2. For example, 26. The last digit is 6. So, the number will be divisible by 2. Test of divisibility by 3. For that, you have to add all the digits of the number and make it into a single number. If the number is divisible by 3, then the number will be divisible by 3. Let us take a number. Let's say 342. When 3 is added with 4 and 2, we get as 9. 9 is divisible by 3. So the number 342 is divisible by 3 exactly. Test of divisibility by 4. If the last two digits of any number is divisible by 4, then the number is divisible by 4. Let us take an example. 428. Here, 28 is the last two digits. 28 can be divisible by 4. So, the number can be divisible by 4. Test of divisibility by 5. If the numbers ends with 5 or 0, then the number can be exactly divisible by 5. Let us take an example. 715. Here, the last digit is 5. So, the number 715 is exactly divisible by 5. Test of divisibility by 6. Test of this divisibility by 6 is a combination of test of divisibility by both 2 and 3. Let us take an example. 132. Here, the last digit is 2. So, it is divisible by 2. Again, we have to check the divisibility by 3. For that, how to add the digits together? That is, 1 plus 3 plus 2. We get the answer as 6. 6 is divisible by 3. So, the given number follows the divisibility rules of both 6, 2 and 3. So, the number is divisible by 6. Test of divisibility by 7. Take the last digits of the number. Double the number, then subtract the doubled number from the remaining digits. If the resultant number is either 7 or a multiple of 7, then the number is divisible by 7. Let us take an example. Let us take 392. Here, the last digit is 2. When doubled, we get the value as 4. We have to subtract 4 from 39. We get the value as 35, which is a multiple of 7. So, 392 is divisible by 7. Test of divisibility by 8. If the last three digits of the number is divisible by 8, then the entire number is divisible by 8. Let us take an example. 14320. That is 14,320. Here, the last three digits will be 320, which is divisible by 8. So, the entire number will be divisible by 8. Test of divisibility by 9. Test of divisibility or by 9 is similar to the test of divisibility by 3. That is, we have to add up all the digits of the number. If the resultant number is 9 or a multiple of 9, then the number is divisible by 9. Let us take an example. 729. In this case, 
add all the numbers that is 7 plus 2 plus 9 that is 18 again add the numbers 1 plus 8 we get 9 9 which is a multiple of 9 so the number will be divisible by 9 test of divisibility by 10 this is easy one to check that is if the unit digit or the last digit is 0 the number is divisible by 10 let's take an example as 4230 6480 6200 here all the unit digits is 0 so the numbers are divisible by 10 in all the divisibility rules i have taken only one example each due to time constraint you can check the divisibility tricks with many numbers if you have any doubts or queries, feel free to contact us. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you find it useful, please do subscribe to our channel and support us in the form of sharing with your friends. Meet you all in another video. Until then, it's bye from Biju. Take care guys. Bye.